Hello, my name is Sil Oleg, and today in this video I want to show you how to install the Pyroprinter program and start the device for the first time. Let's start. The Pyroprinter comes with flash drive that contains all the necessary software. When you connect the flash drive to your computer, you will see these files. The first folder contains drivers for the device. The second one has the Visual C++ driver for the software. Next is the Pyroprinter software installer and user manual. Before installing the Pyroprinter software, I recommend installing Visual C++ first. We go into this folder, further, further, even further and more and do to left click on this installer. This installation is not a quick process and I will speed up the video. Ok, let's go back and install the Pyroprinter software. Double left click on the installer Next, agree. Here I recommend that you select the installation location of the program in the root of the C drive. The installer will create a folder colored Pyroprinter and install the software in this folder. Done. The program is running. This icon indicates that the device is not connected. For now, let's close the program. I'm moving the shortcut so you can see it. There is not need to install drivers. Windows will find them on its own. Next step, turn on the power. You need to count how many times the diode blinks brightly. These are not bright blinks, you do not need to count. This, one time. It means that the device is ready to be connected via the USB cable. Let's do it. Next, I take test plywood from the kit and install it on the work table. You may need to put something under the plywood if you also install it a 6mm spot under the ruler, like I did. And fix it. Pay attention that the tip of the banner should be on the edge on the ruler. I run the program again. You can see that the device is not connected again. You need to go settings to fix it. You need to change this value. But what value should be? To figure it out, you need to open Device Manager in Windows. We are interested in the port section. All devices connected to the computer via USB cable are shown here. To find out which port the Pyroprinter is connected to, disconnect the USB cable from the computer. And connect again. OK, Pyroprinter is connected to port number 4. Specify the number 4 in the program settings. OK, 
Now the program has detected the device. Now we select the test image. For this I hover over the program window and make one left click. Go to the Pyro printer folder where the program is installed. Next go to the file folder and select this image. Now if I press the run button the picture will be loaded into the device and the banner will start working. But before that I need to set the temperature for the banner. To do this I press the T button and then the plus button. I will set it to 64% to begin. Now I press the run button and the picture starts uploading to the device. To get acquainted with other hotkeys of the program, press the question mark button and read the user manual. The device started working. The upper value are the percentage of work done. The next field is the time remaining until completion of the work in minutes. Next is the total time required to complete this work. Its value doesn't change. This is the temperature. At the bottom the speed of the work. I do not recommend setting the speed more than 2.60. Now I will stop the device because the image size is larger than the test plywood. Done. In the next video I will show you how to control the device via Wi-Fi connection without a USB cable. See you in next video. Good luck.